Okay, let's uh let's go into the summons. Uh, so we're just gonna go back to premium summons for these. Because uh, that's where we're gonna be anyway with the tickets and with the gems. So hopefully we're gonna get lucky and get some new legendary Skylanders. Some new light and dark. Boomer. I like it how in the event they're kind of like forcing you to go back and use your uh, lower lower rarity Skylanders. Just, uh, you know, once you get all your legendary ones, you're going to be building them up and trying to use those, but it gives those those older ones a bit more use, a bit more playability. I hope they do something like that for the rares as well, of different conditions. <laughs> we got legendary. We got a light legendary. We got night light. Wow. Finally. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Uh, that's again, I've got really lucky on this whole account. I might have to make this my, other, my main account. Um, I'll I'll go through this guy afterwards though. <laughs> oh my god, that's what we're waiting for. We got the big one. Another one? <laughs> if only. Um nice. So like really nice to have light on dark. Ooh, ooh. Heroic. Uh Pop Fears. Oh, still haven't used that guy yet. Like really nice to get a legendary light. Skylander. However, they're gonna be really hard to uh to level up to enhance. <gasps> we got dark, dark legendary. What the hell? This look tonight. We got Starcast. I haven't looked at this one before. Jesus, a light and a dark legendary on these pools. Amazing. Oh, so I'm gonna go through his skills afterwards again. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? I think that was probably all our luck uh, for these summons. Crazy. Ah, oh, let's see what this heroic is. Nature Sting Bomb. Nice. Another heroic. And some seriously lucky pulls this time. Uh, gear shift, new one on this account. Oh my god. Legendary light and a legendary dark. And quite a few OVX as well. Oh, let's keep going. Let's get some more heroics. Dive clops. Nice. Still one I want to build up. He's, uh, I've got a feeling he's going to be pretty nice on some teams. Um. 
Let's keep going. Last 10. And then we've got a legendary scroll to pull as well afterwards. Oh, man, I can't believe that. That's really lucky. Okay, last five. I'm not expecting anything else from, from these. That was absolutely crazy. Insane. Oh, okay. Nice. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Uh, let's go uh, roll the other legendary summon scroll. See what I get from this one. It's gonna be boom bloom anyway. <laughs> and we got boom bloom. Nice. But let's have a look at these guys because I haven't actually had a look at these before. Like we've already had boom bloom on this account. But anyway, let's go for the light one first. Night light. Okay, so we've got two offensive slots and a ring, and then uh, three defensive. So let's have a look at these skills when they're maxed out. Okay, so the A1, uh, Traptanium Glaive Slash, inflicts 102% of attackers damage to one enemy and grants the attack down 20% effect and the evasion rate down 20% effect for 5 turns, each with an 80% chance, yeah, each with an 80% chance each when you attack accurately. For 5 turns, it's a long time. Then we've got Spectrum Smash, inflicts 119% of attackers damage to one enemy and recovers the HP of the ally with the lowest HP ratio by 46% of your max HP. Additionally, spread spreads up to debuff effects times two on the enemy target with a 50% chance. I think that was meant to be the other way around. So additionally, spreads up to two debuff effects off of the enemy target with a 50% chance. So spread debuff effect grants the debuff effect of the target on the targets on each side. So it's kind of like a ripple up to the nearest enemies. Um, and this is going to be 2 mana, 2 turn cooldown, 2 endurance. Okay, nice. 46% of your max HP. It's almost a 50% heal from attack of your max HP as well. So you can both this guy with HP. I mean, like, his skills don't scale that high. Like, 119% of attack and 102% of attack aren't that high. So you can literally bypass the attack stuff and just concentrate on getting max HP for that heal. And the, uh, yeah, like, a little bit of a... Uh, effect accuracy for those uh, debuffs and the spread as well that'll be nice uh, and then we've got the third skill shining light target all allies grants the shield effect equivalent to 20 percent of the target's max hp for three turns on all allies and grants the all debuff effect immunity for three turns this is nice grants the shield effect equivalent to 20 percent of the target's max hp it's a shame that's not on out on your max HP because that would be like way OP. Um, but yeah, three mana, three turn cooldown, uh, debuff immunity, and twenty percent shield. Three turns, which is when the cooldown comes off as well. So you can keep this up, uh, hundred uh, percent. And then we've got the passive abilities. Uh, Light will protect you. Grants the HP regen effect on all allies for three turns and removes all debuff effects on all allies excluding yourself if you're granted with the immunity against debuff effects which is a third skill so as well as casting that third skill as well as putting a shield as well as a debuff immunity effect you're also going to be putting hp regen on all allies apart from yourself and removing all uh, debuffs as well nice and then we've got the, <laughs> the final one the leader passive so on yourself grants the damage down 20 percent effect on yourself for one turn if your hp is below 60 percent whenever you're attacked by the enemy Additionally, increases your effect accuracy, uh, effect accuracy by 30% in battle. And then leader effect increases the team member's effect accuracy by 20% in battle. This guy. <laughs> this guy. I mean, he's not going to be like super powerful for a while though. Oh, but the man, that seems pretty, pretty nice. Um, 
see, I mean, like, mana use five, cooldown times six. Ian is <laughs> give me one to, to buff this guy up. Although you do get that, uh, like, 50% heal straight away. And attack down 20% for four turns. Uh, and this one is only one ally to start off with. Uh, that passive works, though. You have to evolve that, awaken that skill. Um, so, so the awakening won't be so bad. But a very nice, very nice set you need to have. Uh, let's look at the one, Starcast. Um, so this guy we got three, <coughs> three offensive, three defensive slots. Legendary. Let's take out. This is a dark attack champion. Are these all attack? Yeah. Okay. Starcast. Okay. Multiple dimensional shuriken. Inflicts forty-eight percent of attackers' damage to one enemy five times. And grants a diminished effect for two turns with a 40% chance each whenever you're, you attack accurately. Three mana used, two turn cooldown, two endurance taken off. Five hits. So that's almost 250% of attacker's damage. That's pretty high damage. Um, Shuriken aiming head. Okay, so this one's a charge belly. Grants the stealth effect on yourself for two turns. When charger begins, after charging for one turn, inflicts 90% of attacker's damage to all enemies. Able to put the enemy in knockdown status. <laughs> so this is going to be really nice. This is a charge and stealth for one turn. So there's quite a few uh, Skylanders that are pretty nice to pair up with stealth champions. This costs two mana, two turn cooldown, and takes off four endurance as well. And puts them in knockdown stats. This is a really nice AoE ability. Um, and then Star Shard Shuriken. Again, this is another A AoE. Inflicts 33% of attackers' damage to all enemies four times. The attack will always land as a critical hit. Um, okay. Only one endurance down, four mana used, and a three turn cooldown. So that's two AoE attacks with a. Uh, but pretty nice damage. How much is that? Six nine. So this is only like a hundred and twenty. No, like almost one hundred and thirty. Attackers damage to all enemies. That one's nine percent of attack damage to all enemies. But still nice, nice effects. And then we have got passives. So it grants the self effect on yourself for four turns. If the attacked enemy falls into the break or knockdown status after attacking the enemy, additionally it grants the attack up twenty percent effect. And the defense penetration rate up 15% effect on yourself for three turns if you're granted with a stealth effect. See, almost gonna have these buffs up permanently. Nice. And then Alien Insight recovers your HP by 25% of your max HP if the stealth effect is granted on you when the turn begins and grants the critical damage up 20% effect on yourself for four turns. And leader effect recovers the team member's HP by 5% of the team member's max HP if the stealth effect is granted on the team member. When the turn begins. <laughs> crazy. Absolutely crazy. So this guy's like fully buffing himself with attack up defense penetration and uh crit. Crit damage. And his fourth third attack always crits. Oh, that guy is gonna be serious trouble. <laughs> but yeah, very nice. Really happy with those. Oh uh, but yeah, that was the first lot of summons. That was crazy lucky. Okay, let's now let's do the summon. <laughs> Oh. Okay, there's no way I'm going to be as lucky as on the other account. Let's see what we get on this one. Let's see what we get. exciting just yet. Now that is probably all my luck gone already. Oh, I'm always trying to like count when the last one's gonna happen, so I can get ready for the light and dark, but I always forget. 
always like stop counting after the first one. Uh, so I'm going to hero call legendary so far. Um, until now, a new legendary, undead legendary. What you gonna be? <sighs> Hex. Nice. Over Dal, thank you very much for the follow, much appreciated. And the host as well. Our uh, first legendary hex. So we got the super boost for hex. Very nice. Carry on. See if we get any more. I do. Just you and me at the minute, man. Just you and me. Yeah, I I, I had some. I had a I had a few regulars on, uh, but as I, ever since the birth of my son, I've, I haven't been able to keep up schedule. So people have just gone off to other places. Are we going to be able to get some more, some more legendary? We got heroic. We got a legendary, a magic legendary. What have we got now? A Mr. Cat, nice. This one's a new one for the account. We got, we're getting so much luck tonight as well. <laughs> Crazy. We got a heroic. Pop fears. Oh, I missed the cat, finally. Check him out after. It's like five, five legendaries we've got tonight. It's pretty insane. Although I did the uh, summons on Sunday and we didn't get any. It feels like it's making up for that. Um, okay, so onto the gems. So I've only got 10 more summons for these. Then we've got some legendary scrolls to go through. Some heroic smolder dash, nice another boost for him. I'm saying him, he was a he in the story. All right, last five. Let's do this. We really get light and dark on the last one of these, guaranteed. Lost count already. <laughs> Another heroic. Undead. Roller brawl. Already got. Sorry, we didn't get it. <laughs> Damn you all. Let's do this one. We know what this one's going to be. Legendary blackout. I know, with the update that's just come out, it's going to be even easier to get blackout scrolls from the arena shop. Very nice. And then we've got these two legendaries. Another undead one. Is this going to be a, a Mr. Cat again? It's a pit boss. Now we've got a pit boss on this account. Last one for these. Who's this? A robo. Ro a robo upgrade. So we've got a pit boss and a Mr. Cat. So I'm going to go over these skills because these are new to this account. All right, Mr. Cat, what have we got? Uh, Sphinx Staff. 
Recover the HP of all allies by 40% of each ally's max HP and grants debuff effect immunity on the targets for two turns additionally. And that's two mana on a three turn cooldown. So that's pretty nice. Higher health pulls, more like it, like legendary teams are gonna have a massive effect with this. The bigger, the bigger heals. Um, Kitty Master Yarn Ball. Inflict 47% of attacker's damage to one enemy three times and grants the effect effect resistance rate down 20% effect for two turns with an 8% chance when you attack accurately. Additionally, if the target falls into the break status, recover the mana by three. Uh, so this is two mana to use, two turn cooldown, and endurance knockdown two. So 47%, almost 150. It was that 140, 141% of attacker's damage. And then Kitty Alter Ego Quick Copy. So it grants the stealth effect for two turns when charging begins. After charging for one turn, inflicts 51% of attacker's damage to one enemy two times and grants random weakening effect times three for three turns with a 50% chance each whenever you attack accurately. Um, two mana, two turn cooldown, one endurance. I guess this guy mainly for the uh, for the big heals on the three, three turn cooldown. But then we've got these as well. What we got here? Grants the attack up 30% effect on all allies for three turns. If you have nine plus mana at the beginning of the turn, additionally increase the defense by 30% if you fall into the break stats. Um, and probably for that buff as well. Nine mana. Very nice. And then we've got the, the passive leader one. Uh, grants the stealth effect on yourself for three turns if you have two plus debuff effects at the beginning of the turn. Additionally, it grants the crit rate up 15% effect and the effect accuracy 20% effect for three turns each if the stealth effect is granted on yourself. And then leader effect grants the crit rate up 15% effect on the team member for two turns if the stealth effect is granted on the team member. So pretty good. What slots does he have? Uh, so we've got three... Uh, two offensive, three defensive, and one, and one ring. And then we've got uh, you, Pit Boss. Let's check out this guy, Pit Boss. Undead support. Uh, poisonous snake attack. Inflicts seventy four percent of attack damage to one enemy and grants the heal down zero percent effect for two turns with an eight percent chance when you attack accurately. So I guess that heal down zero percent evolves into unrecoverable. Or is it meant to be unrecoverable? Who knows? If it's unrecoverable, that is insane. Two mana, two turn cooldown. A second skill, a Viper Trap. Inflicts 74% of attacker's damage to one enemy two times and grants the effect accuracy up 30%. Effect and the shield effect equivalent to 10% of your max HP on yourself for three turns. Uh, two mana, two th uh, three turn cooldown, two endurance. Uh, third skill, Snake Sage's Fatal Poison. After charging for two turns, inflicts 15% of each ally's max HP as damage to all allies and grants the drain 30% effect and the attack up 70% effect for two turns each. Additionally, decreases the mana required to use skills by one for one turns. That is pretty, pretty nice, pretty OP. Two mana, three turn cooldown. Charge time two, 70% attack up and drain after taking a bit of damage and then we've got the passives open mouthed anaconda removes all buff effects of the target whenever damage is inflicted on the enemy additionally if the target's buff effect is removed recovers the hp of all allies by 20 percent of the target's max hp okay nice and then increase your max hp by 40 percent in battle and leader effect increase the team members max hp by 10 percent in battle uh it's very nice some very nice skills there both of them have very good skills but yeah that's it for me i am out peace take care wait